In today's episode, we are going to be installing TronLink web extension. So if you are on Brave browser or Chrome, you can use this wallet and it works absolutely fine. So the first thing that you need to do is you can either go to tronlink.org or you can also go to justswap.org and you guys are going to be able to have access to the legit wallet because there are a lot of scams out there. So please make sure that you use a VPN or you do not get fished because there's a lot of phishing scams out there because if these people have got access to your private keys and your wallet, they are able to steal your money. So you have to make sure that you are using the legit web addresses. So tronlink.org or justswap.org. So what I usually do is I just use justswap.org and then I just simply cl click on uh, uh, connect to wallet. Then here it prompts you if you haven't installed the Tron link uh wallet you can just simply click here and it's going to take you to the legit extension link on google chrome so all you have to do is just uh add to your google uh, chrome and you guys are going to be very good to go so add extension you do that you click on it and then wait for it to get finished installing so right now it is being installed so what you can do is just uh sort of uh wait for it here and you can actually uh get to choose what extensions are here so hold on so as you can see if you really want to highlight it you can just leave, uh, you can just ping the extension here and then it's going to be visible for you to have access to it so when you do that just simply click on it and uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to enter a password for this particular, uh, you know, wallet to be open. So first of all, think of a very good password that you are not going to end up forgetting. So click on continue. So here you've got different options. You've got an option of creating a brand new one or you can restore uh, your previous one. So for example, if you already initially had uh, a Tron link wallet, you can just restore it and then you're going to be good to go. But in this particular case, we are going to be creating a new one. So when creating uh, your wallet, you need to enter uh, a name. So just think of any random name and that's going to be my name there. So let me just put 2020. Uh, yeah. And then these numbers are very important. The mnemonic numbers are very important because you are going to be needing these in order for you to sort of uh, get to uh, restore it. Remember that previous stage where we had to like, uh, where we had the option of restoring it. So if you previously opened or rather created a TronLink uh, account, these are the different uh, numbers uh, or rather the words that you are supposed to use in order for you to like restore it. So it's very important for you to have a backup of these words and then just keep them, okay? So all you have to do is save these numbers because you might need them in case you need to restore them. So this is very, very important. Okay, then you just simply click on continue. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to have to confirm everything. You're going to have to confirm these words. Once you're done entering the correct order of the words, then you are good to confirm and voila, your Tron link wallet has been created. So it doesn't really have like uh, a lot of uh, complicated stuff here. You've got access to different functionalities. Like for example, if you need to add the TRC20 or the TRC10 assets, all you have to do is just come here and then just put the contract uh, address right over here. And then you're going to be able to like add your whatever TRC tokens. And if you want to send and receive, everything is right there. Send you enter the address where you are going to be sending the money and then when you're done you just sort of uh you know click the send there and uh, you you should always remember that there's going to be some some fees that you need to pay uh tron is very very cheap uh a lot of transactions usually cost less than uh one dollar you know, so just make sure that whenever you are sending some money, right, just make sure that you have some balance left in your account so that you can, um, you know, cater to those transaction fees that you are going to be able to encounter. In order for you to receive Tron onto this particular wallet, right, you just simply click on uh, receive and then you're going to be able to give uh, this wallet address out to people who really need to sort of, uh, you know, send you whatever Tron or some TRC 20 tokens and then you guys are going to be good to go so with regards to exporting your account right in case you really need to have like some 
backup you can just do it here when you do that it's going to prompt you to enter the password and then everything is just very easy to do so in, with regards to account details you've got some more detailed information about your account and then you can see what's happening with regards to your account on the transcan in case you are waiting for some transactions to get processed so that's basically how you get to handle the Tron uh, link web extension wallet. So I really hope that you found that interesting. And in case you've got any other questions or complications, uh, please drop everything in the comment section below and I'm going to be able to help you or some of the people on my, you know, subscriber list are going to be able to help you. So I really hope that you found this helpful. Hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you very much. Take care.